Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I got a review for you guys of this little number right here. This is the Yojimbo 2 in the CPM Crewwear Steel and the Smooth Black G10 handles. Now, quick little disclaimer before we get into this review. Uh, this is a Knife Center exclusive. Uh, I will also be talking about the standard version of this guy, but we're going to be primarily looking at the Knife Center exclusive, obviously, in terms of steel and comfort. Uh, but these guys are basically exactly the same, just different materials. Well, the handle's the same material, just a different way to do it. But um, yeah, so I'm going to try to, to harken back to the original version of this guy, uh, but we're primarily looking at this version of the knife. Uh, now, with that being said, I'm going to do a quick little size comparison for you guys, just so you can see. Uh, this is not a very big knife. So first, here are some AirPods. I, I don't, it's a pretty small knife. You guys can see that about maybe like three and a half AirPods would <laughs> would be about as big as this guy. Then here's my hand. I'm your average. Uh, I'm your average five nine gentleman, but I do have some pretty big hands, so that kind of works out. And then finally, here is a PM2 for you guys. You guys can definitely see this. This thing is tiny. It's really small. I've never seen the PM2 dwarf a knife before, so that's pretty funny. But uh, anyways, let's get into the review. Now, what am I saying? Let's get into what I like and don't like about this knife and if I can recommend it for you guys. There we go. Now, uh, first and foremost, the size on this guy originally was a ugly for me. It was a really, really bad thing for me. I, I couldn't stand it. The size was terrible. And it's because when I first took it out of the box, I wanted to hold it like this, you know, like how you hold a normal knife. I hold all my knives like this. But I felt this guy and my pinky was borderline almost slipping off the handle and my thumb just wasn't getting enough grip to stay there. So I was like, this is kind of uncomfortable. Then I got to this grip here and I was like, okay, that's a little better because now my index finger is kind of doing a little bit of a pinch motion here. This is a pinch grip after all. And I was like, okay, that's that's a little better. I can definitely get down with this. But then I watched a video of a guy who was reviewing this knife and he had put his thumb here and I did that. And suddenly the ergonomics kicked in. I suddenly was able to feel uh, feel the ergonomics on this guy. And, and that made me so happy because honestly, I've been meaning to start carrying a little bit of smaller, a little bit smaller knives just because I've always been kind of a bigger knife guy. I mean, before that, one of my go-to everyday carries was this Code 4, and this thing's a little wide. So I was hoping to just get a little bit of a smaller knife in there, and, and luckily I found uh, I found the, the ergonomic sweet spot on this guy. So that's good, and, and that means that the size is a good in my eyes. I think this is something that I really like. Uh, I like that it's a little smaller, and, and I definitely like the ergonomics on this guy. That's, that's another thing I really like, is the ergonomics are are quite good when you actually are able to find them. <laughs> uh, but that being said, yeah, this thing is ergonomic for its size, and that, that's great. That's a great thing. Now, another thing I like about this knife is the blade. Now, everything about the blade I like. I like the blade geometry. I like the blade shape. I like the steel. Even on the original model, uh, you know, S30V is a pretty good steel. Yes, this is CPM crew wear, which let me tell you, that is a superior steel, at least through all my tests. This thing has really, really been amazing. Um, but on top of that, the geometry is great. It's a hollow grind, but it's quite, quite deep actually, because you got a lot of, you got a lot of uh, blade here. But I also like how it's, it's thick behind the spine, making sure that your cutting edge here is going to be nice and, and, and strong. But your tip is nice and thin, so good for piercing. So I really do appreciate that. And I also do like that it's a one cliff blade shape. I, I, I've talked to myself many times saying I don't have enough one cliff blades. So I'm very happy to have been able to, to get this guy. This is a real one cliff, even though some people are kind of saying because this isn't a straight edge back here, this might be more of a sheep's foot, but it's a one cliff guys. I'm saying it's a one cliff and I'm gonna hold to that. Uh, but yeah, the blade is phenomenal, love it to death. Uh, I find that crew wear is actually pretty good at holding an edge, actually really good at holding an edge. I haven't had to sharpen this guy yet, and I've used this guy in the kitchen. I've, I've used it in outdoor stuff. It's worked beautifully, and it's still razor sharp, so that's amazing. Uh, 
but it also sharpens pretty easy, I've heard. I, I have not actually owned any crew wear in my life. This is, would be my first time. So I haven't had to sharpen it just yet, but I've heard from a lot of people that sharpening this guy is, is super easy. So that makes me happy. And I've heard this thing's relatively wear resistant. So that's, that's always a beautiful thing. Now, another thing I like about this, uh, another thing I like about this knife is, is the handle just overall. Uh, it's funny. I like the blade overall and I like the handle overall, but I love the handle overall. It's, it's just a super duper nice, uh, kind of nice little grip there. And it, it's a little more unconventional for me because you guys can see here me holding it. Whereas most knives kind of have a, a, uh, a pommel area that sticks out. Uh, further than the uh, further than the little blade guard here, this guy kind of goes down or goes inward. So this was kind of a weird handle to me, but just because of the smooth G10 and stuff like that, and the nice little uh, finger cutouts they have here, this thing is really, really nice and actually really comfortable. It's a really, really comfortable handle. I, I, I have no complaints with it. Uh, and I, I do quite enjoy the fact that they did do, they put in the time to kind of uh, chimp, chimp, uh, chamfer, excuse me, all the edges. So everything's nice and rounded. Nothing is sharp, nothing, anything like that. It's not super blocky. It's, it's, it's just right there. It's, it's perfect. The handle's great. Uh, and I really do appreciate that. Not to mention the smooth G10. I love the smooth G10 way more than I like the, the textured G10. It's just so nice in the pocket. It slips in and out of your pocket without having too much, uh, you know, too much resistance. And this won't mess up your pocket over time. I always was a little afraid of the uh, the super aggressive. Oh my goodness gracious! Sorry about that. <laughs> Throwing my knives now. No, but uh, this is just real aggressive, and it made me a little nervous. You know, when I put this in my pocket, take it out, put it in my pocket, take it out, just because you know you don't want it to wear on your pocket at all. And unfortunately, that's kind of the downside of G10. That'll always be the downside. But they smoothed this G10 out, which just makes it so much nicer. And you can definitely tell that it slips in the pocket and it slips right out. So that's a beautiful thing. Now, another thing I like about this knife is, of course, the compression lock. It is beautiful. This is my second compression lock I've been able to, to own. Uh, and it's just, it's amazing. It's it's beautiful. It's smooth. It's it's so nice. And and. It's a strong lock. I mean, it's hard to compress a piece of metal, which is pretty much what you'd have to do to be able to close this guy uh, without unlocking it. So that's that's pretty impressive. Strong lock, definitely appreciate that a lot. That being said, this thing is an extremely hard use knife. I mean, this is a thick, thick handle with a thick, thick blade and an amazing lock. This thing is easily just as strong, if not stronger, than the PM2, which is kind of an impressive thing because the PM2 is an extremely strong knife extremely strong knife in and of itself already i apparently can't talk today i'm sorry about that guys but yeah it, it's got full metal liners it's it's got the compression lock thick blade stock thick g10 this thing's just good to go and that's that's awesome now like i was saying before a little bit before this thing is extremely smooth not only in the lock but also in the action this thing flicks open because it's so much blade of course and this thing flicks open with authority but their detent on this guy is is perfectly dialed in. I've heard some people complain about Spyderco detents, but I don't know what you guys are talking about. You know, this thing's got an amazing, amazing detent. I love it to death. You can flick it open like that, or you can thumb flick it open. It'll open no matter what you do. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I definitely appreciate the smoothness on this guy. Uh, when I first got it, it was it took a second to, to break in, as most knives do. Uh, so I did put a little bit of a KPL on the uh, on the pivot there and and on the uh, the phosphor bronze washers just to make this thing really function beautifully and it does. Also, the phosphor bronze washers I think was a great choice. Uh, I know a lot of people like ball bearings, but I think on a knife like this, phosphor bronze washers are just perfect, perfect choice. Uh, and this thing is pretty smooth and stuff for being on phosphor bronze. So I definitely appreciate that a lot. Now, finally, the last thing that I really like about this knife is the fact that it is a four position pocket clip. You know, that's that's always great. You know, if people are left handed users. Uh, I got a lot of family members that are left handed users. Uh, I am not. Don't worry, guys. I'm normal. But I know a lot of people that are left handed users and and I, I always like loaning my knives to people. So it's always nice to get that four position pocket clip. Granted, we don't need these holes right up here. 
uh, I'd hate to admit it, but I feel like if you carry your knife tip down, you are a menace to society. But that's beside the point. I definitely appreciate them giving that variety uh, of having a four position pop and clip. So I really do, really do like that. Now I could go into about a million more things that I love about this knife, but uh, I think it's best we just go into what I don't like about this knife, just so this video is not half an hour long. But anyways, what I don't like about this knife, first and foremost, they did no chamfering on the blade whatsoever. So every, every single corner, edge, everything is sharp, especially this one right here. But more importantly, this edge here, this edge here, and even the spidey hole, all of it is not chamfered and that makes it really uncomfortable. And I was actually kind of let down by that because this handle is completely chamfered all the way through. You know, it's it's every edge is rounded. You guys can kind of see it there. Every edge is rounded. Uh, there's no real sharp spots other than maybe in the G10 a little bit, like inside right there. But the blade is just so, there's, there's just so many sharp edges on this that shouldn't be sharp. And I definitely don't like that. But I feel like you could maybe, uh, you know, put a file to it or something, but I'm not the kind of person that would do that. So it's just going to be a headache that I have to deal with, but it's whatever. Another thing I don't really like about this knife is the width of it. I think this thing is very, very wide. Bringing back in that, uh, that code four, even though this knife is shorter than it by actually a substantial amount, because this is about... Uh, I believe eight and a half inches. This is close to about 7.6, something like that inches. But you guys can see this guy is actually thicker than your code four, which I was surprised about because the code four is already a pretty thick knife. I've talked about it before. This guy is pretty thick in the handle, but the blade on the, uh, on the Yojimbo is actually almost as, as, you know, wide as this guy's widest point. So that's pretty interesting not my favorite that just means this guy's gonna take up a lot more space in your pocket than it needs to but I, it's whatever another thing i'm not a huge huge fan of is how much space this thing takes up uh you know in your pocket again talking about the width of the blade you put this thing in and suddenly this thing takes up a good one third of your pocket so that's that's kind of a shame uh you know again bringing in that code four this thing is just as wide as the code four but you're getting less blade for it and less handle. So that's that's kind of a shame. I definitely wish this thing wasn't as as, you know, as wide as it is. I get that kind of adds to the hard use factor and stuff like that, but it just it feels like a little unnecessary. But uh another thing I'm not a humongous fan of uh is going to be all this writing on the blade. Like I I I get they want to put the maker's mark, they want to put where it's from. You want to put the steel, but it's got spider co written here and a spidey bug. And down here on the handle, you got another spidey bug right there. Not my favorite thing in the world. I just think it makes the blade look like it's got a lot of writing on it. But I do at least, I can at least appreciate the fact that they made it asymmetrical right where that spidey bug's supposed to be. You got the, you got the little logo for the maker's mark there. And then Golden Colorado USA Earth, you know, on the other side, you got Spider Go Crew Wear. So I do appreciate that they at least tried to make it asymmetrical, but it, it's still a lot of writing on the blade. Um, now, another thing I'm not a huge fan of, and I, I didn't get to show you guys this, but if you open this a certain way, like that, there is about a 50-50% chance that this lock will come and pinch you like it just did to me. That did not feel good. It does not feel good when it pinches you. And I will tell you now, it has pinched me on many occasions. So it's hard to slow open this guy with your thumb, which is how I personally feel comfortable opening this guy. It's just with my thumb like that, getting it back right there. I have learned to since not do that anymore, but obviously I don't like that you can get pinched by this lock. It looks like it's just because this lock is, is so close when you open this knife, it's so close to these two liners that it just, your finger just gets pinched in there and it, it, just, it sucks, but I can't necessarily say that's a design flaw. I think it's just, you know, you gotta cut down the, the compression lock a little bit there, at least where your thumb's gonna be opening the lock because it will pinch you and it does not feel good. Um, otherwise, I think that's about it. Uh, there's not much that I can say I don't like about this knife. Uh, you know, the ergonomics are just fine. The The blade is, is just fine to me. It's maybe a little bit on the wide side, but with the steel and its cutting edge, I think it works really, really well. Um, so that's pretty much all I can say about this guy though. Uh, I will say this and make a note of this. 
I didn't mention the price of this guy because the standard version is extremely overpriced, but this version is actually pretty well priced. So I figured I'd make a note of this for you guys. The standard version in the S30V is about $171. This version in Crewwear is $169. So it's kind of weird. You're getting an upgraded steel and in my opinion, an upgraded handle for about three bucks, two to three bucks cheaper. So it's a little weird how that's priced. Again, this version's more, this version's really well priced, but the original version's a little overpriced. So just depending, you know, it, 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 it's kind of hard to say if it's a good or a bad because this version has it as a good, the other version has it as a bad. Now, another thing that I want to make note of, and this doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad, this just means, you know, it's it's not as good as it could be. This is a nice center exclusive. I'm never a huge fan of store exclusives just because, uh, well, it makes it harder for certain people to get it. Some people would rather get stuff in person. Some people would rather, you know, get from their own local knife shop. And unfortunately, you won't be able to get this at your own local knife shop. It's not necessarily a bad thing, and that's why I'm not making a note of it, because it's just an exclusive. That's that's just kind of how it is. So I just figured I'd make a quick note of that for you guys. But otherwise, this knife is a absolute beauty, uh, and I'm very happy that this thing was as good as it was, because I was really nervous that this was not going to be a good knife, and luckily through some good use. At first, I hated this knife. I wasn't a big fan. Um but I was eventually able to get used to it. The ergonomics warmed up on me, the blade shape warmed up on me, and the steel, I mean, the steel is just beautiful. So I was i was very, very happy with this piece. So can I recommend this for you guys? Absolutely, freaking lutely I can. This version specifically, go to Knife Center, buy this thing. This thing is a machine. This thing is a monster. This thing is a beast. This is a great folder. Good for outdoor use, good for kitchen use, good for everyday carry. It's just a good knife. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll put a link for this guy in the description below for those of you who want to pick it up. But uh, with all that being said, thank you.